Uh, Blood Upon the Rose, <coughs> how it came about, well, I was just talking to um, the illustrator, Bren B. Uh, we had finished in Dublin City too, and we were talking about a follow-up. So I told him that while I'd like to stick around Dublin with the next one, uh, that I wanted to do something probably a bit more factual, and I suggested the great city lockout in 1913, and he says, well, why not go the whole hog and we do um, 1916, the rising for Easter week. So I says, sure, that's fine. I, I agree with him. And um, I spoke to the publisher, Michael O'Brien, about it. And um, he thought it was very, very, he couldn't believe it, in fact, because he thought that um, it was something that they had been considering as well. Uh, so we fired ahead. <coughs> It was a new uh, approach for me because whereas the other comics I had done, I used to just start with an idea. Uh, for this one, I had to have a story. So I had to do a fair bit of research and it all went by fairly smoothly. And we started the drawings. And um, <coughs> now uh, the process uh, I discovered uh, was a very uh, intricate process for me because before that as I say I had been doing uh, fictional stuff about Dublin and just making it up as I went along but once you start doing historical stuff well you've got to be accurate factually accurate and um, so I just went about uh, the, the normal way into the National Library getting all I could there by way of information and discovering stuff that I thought I knew but I found I didn't really know all that well. Uh, the week for me, uh, that's um, Easter week, it was made up of a lot of different um, incidents that took place around the city and I didn't really know an awful lot about them before I have to say. Uh, like for instance um, the Battle of Mount Street, um, the Massacre of North King Street, uh, things like that. Um, I also had to find out a bit more about the leaders. Uh, I thought I knew about Parik Pierce, that he was a teacher and that, but um, he was a lot more than that. He was a terrific um, rouser of the volunteers. I also <coughs> discovered that the number of volunteers um, in the Rising were very reduced uh, because uh, of an order issued by the Commander-in-Chief, a man called Owen McNeil. Um, telling them that the rising was off. He, he put an ad in the paper. Anyway, uh, we eventually got down to drawing the thing. And the way I do it is a very conventional way. I use pencil to start up. Uh, I do the roughs in pencil. Then I ink them in. And um, I pass them over to the colorist, uh, Bren B. And uh, he checks them out because he also helps as a bit of an editor for me. And he does the writing as well as the coloring. Uh, we got them all done, we got them approved by O'Brien Press and they got them printed.